Good day, viewers. Shadow Blade, Dragon Bank here. We're back with Fairy Fans F, so let's go to the event because we finished the sub event. Time for the event. Talk. Yara. The Seal Deity. Oh, Seal, you up. What did you want to talk about? Can you close your eyes for a bit? Sure, I guess, but seriously, what's going on? You will know soon enough, but for now, please close your eyes. I don't really get it, but I guess I'll play along. Erin, you too. I, I know. Uh, I know. Now then. Whoa! It feels like my body's floating. Not yet. Do not open your eyes. Hey! hey. <laughs> okay, you can open them now. What the hell? Sealed gods. What the? Where are we? What's a giant woman doing here? Oh wait, that's a statue. The goddess. Ah, so you know this? As expected of a fairy. Well, what passes as a fairy? That is. I'm not going to dignify that remark with a response. What is this place? How did we end up here? This is a dimension that exists between the boundaries of reality. In layman's term, it is similar to our waking dream. This is my... No, Q is powers. Special powers. Q is special powers, sorry. Q! I see. That's an amazing ability. So we're not in the yard right now. Gotcha! That's pretty mysterious. Long ago, the god was still in this space. And over there, you can see... The vile god! Huh? That's right, the vile god. A malevolent entity who attempted to destroy the world long ago. As you can see, he is currently sealed, but the sword stuck into his body. You're right, I can detect a faint flicker of magical energy. He is not dead then. The same goes for the goddess too. Ah, now that I'm seeing this up close, what are those sword things supposed to be? They are furious, but the power of the fairies residing in them has diminished over the time over time oh you're right those are furies now every fury hits their mark though the one that eventually made their way to the human world so those fury and their fairies end up like me hmm I don't get it what's up with this place anyway using the fury we obtained earlier we will remove the sword that are stuck in the goddess. Are you saying you're going to remove the goddess seal? Precisely. Alright, we're about to wrap things up. I'm gonna wish for all the tasty food I can stomach. She's not gonna revive just by removing one or two swords. More importantly, what did you mean by using the fury? We must transfer the fairy residing in this fury to to one of the dormant furies activated in activated and then pull it out. And then and that will revive the goddess. No, there is something else we need to do in addition to do that. But I do not exactly know what it is. What that is. How do you know the most important part? And how do you know about all this anyway? Even I didn't know about this place. Ambassador must educate themselves about the goddess and the vile god. It's a far strange that you two know nothing about this at all. 
Besides, the only reason we were able to visit this place is because of Kiwi. Of course, if you we weren't missing your memories, you would have already know all this, right? This must be embarrassing for you. Uh, I can't think of a response. Hey, Fang. Don't just stand there. Say something. Hmm. So basically, we gotta collect fury so we can use the fairy inside of them to release the seal, right? So if our original goal hasn't changed, then who cares, right? Well, yes. Ah, also, if you attempt to remove the sword, something will attack you. So please be careful. Be careful. What do you mean, something? It's probably some kind of defense mechanism that protects the seal. That's right, it can be quite difficult to handle. Please be careful when you pull out the swords. So you've already tried to do that? Well, it seems that few the few seems furies that have bonded to the fencer can be can be used. Perhaps that's because the pack they form is still in effect. You sound like you experienced this before. This better not be a trap. I would do no such thing. You think I've forgotten about that tea stunt you pulled? Such they are 11. The three of us are all trying to revive the goddess, correct? Then it's settled. We will collect the furies and break the goddess too. Understood? I wish we knew something. Knew some other way to do this. You just gotta roll it, I guess. Okay! Very expensive action. Hmm, the girl. Johnny Rival, this is something else. Johnny Rival lets you remove the fury seal containing the goddess and vile god. To do so, you need a fairy from a fury you've already collected. First, choose either the goddess or the vile god. Of course, no sane person would ever choose the vile god. Like me? <laughs> yeah, someone like you. Next, select which oh, is the seal. Yeah, can we use the DLC also? Oh no. Uh, DLC, DLC pairs are not allowed to be pull out swords. I see. Too bad. Next, select which fury seal you want to remove. Each one has an assigned rank, so you will need a fairy whose rank also matches. So this can be a rank by rank, huh? Yes, by rank. Rank by rank. Choose a fairy to help you remove the fury seal. Then transfer it into the fury, activate it and pull it out. Make sure you compare the fairy's ability with the furies. When you're ready, confirm your selection. Enemies will appear as a defensive measure, so watch out for warnings. Also, once a fairy is transferred, it cannot be undone. If you win, you will successfully remove the fury seal, and you will have access to the ability too. It's very useful when you get a new fury. Remove the seal right away. Okay. It is said that the goddess and Varga were created from the light and darkness respectively. These deities fought each other long ago and eventually sealed each other away. Allergy, the goddess fought to protect all life, including the lives of humans, while the Varga sought to return all existence to nothingness. The Fury's power is keeping them sealed, but so much time has passed that the seal has started to weaken. Like Kiara said, we may have to fix the seal ourselves. If the Biogat ever awakens instead of the Garden, the world will, be, will come to an apocalyptic end. So we need to do our best to collect the Fury's and prevent that. Was that the bug that position and the guy's position when we saw it? I got nine. No, you got one. Oh. Was that was that their position? It doesn't look like that's the position before. Can't remember. Sorry. So did the defeat mechanism? Let's go. Yeah. My turn. It won't be a problem for you. Here I come. This is the end. Let's do this. Next. Let's do this. 
do this. Didn't reach. Executing shooting slash. Here I come. Let's go, Aaron. Ah! Next. That was nothing. Let's see. Careful of the steel shield. The fairy we did has obtained new power. Revival rank up. Your revival rank is now C. Man, that thing came, came right at me. Well, not like I couldn't handle it. GG! We actually defeated the. Uh, we defeated and broke a seal. Look! We did it, thank you so much. Oh, that was awfully honest of you. It is a boss's responsibility to acknowledge their peon's hard work, that's all. Who are you calling a peon? I got some choice words for you. Hey, hold it. For some reason, I can feel incredible power coming from the sword I pulled out. You're right. What is this? It was affected by the goddess' divine power. It was difficult to say for sure. But it seems that the reserve effect had become significantly stronger. Resonance effect? What's that? When two furies resonate with each other, a mysterious power is extended that is known as a resonance effect. A mysterious power, huh? Seriously, where did you learn all this? Like I said, I've done my homework. Do the details some math matters when they're getting closer to reviving the goddess? Gee! I guess that's true, but... Who cares? Let's go home, I'm hungry! Good idea, let's go back and have ourselves a five-star meal. Don't remind me about that disappointing reveal. I'm sorry, I can't reveal the truth. She's hiding something. Another one going to force her. The, re the resonance effect occurs when two fury resonate with each other. Simply put, you can equip the fairy that resides inside the fury. The fairy's power is tied and ability will be added to the power of the character who equipped it. While equipped, the fairy will earn any experience acquired from battle. After after you earn enough XP, the fairy's level will increase. When a fairy level up, that starts increase and might have even learned a new ability or two. Selecting a resonant effect can be done from the equip screen. The fairy start will be visible, so take your time choosing. Also, you can compare your current resonant effect with the potential repair by pressing Y. about the sunflower egg? Let's go over the place that will serve as our base for operation. The sunflower inn. As the sunflower inn, you can perform godly revival and talk to your other party members. According to Tiara, godly revival is Q's ability, so we'll need Tiara and Q with us to do it. Talk to your other party member by using the D pad to select someone, then press A at a certain point. Some special conversation might appear. Uh, I think I already know that. I just did it. Yeah, be sure to not miss them. What's the resonance effect? When two people resonate with each other, they can use a portion of each other's power. This is known as the resonance effect. Wait, didn't I already explain this? Yes. Essentially, by... Do you really need to read it? Alright. Anything you need. Please let me know this is there anything you need in the end. I will have provided to you, no matter what it is. We need a real five star chef. Except that. <laughs> <laughs> we need a five star chef. Except that.
the little girl around. <sighs> Enough with that. No, she might have an info. Here you go. Uh, hello, oh, Ian. there she is! Did you make sure to bring some extra cash? I have some valuable information. How does this price sound to you? 300. Thank you for your patronage. Here's some information about a fury. Let's see. Rumor has it that a fury has been found at the Yadagon Lava Flows. A rumor, huh? Who did you hear it from? <laughs> That's a secret. Anyway, I also have a new item on sale. Wanna buy it? It's a new brand of tasty cup noodles from the Dorfa Corporation. Just add hot water and it'll be ready to eat in three hours. Three hours? Three hours? I'm really sleep by that time. That product has one fatal flaw. It takes way too long to cook. It'll never sell. Heck, I don't even want to buy it. Wise decision on your part. Now then, let's get going. Make sure you come back with more cash. The hell? Cheetah. Three hours? Are you fucking with me? Oh, oh there's someone there. Dinner request. Oh, good timing. What do you want to eat for dinner tonight? I'm taking a, I'm taking the quest. Seriously, meat. Give me something meaty. Really, seems like a waste of my cooking skill. Oh well, I'll feed you as much as I eat. Much meat as you want. So look forward to that. You really have to look forward to that. Are you going to the Yadagan lava flows? It's a cave system at the base of Mount Yadagan, a volcano northwest of town. Make sure you stay on the path or you'll fall into the magmas. Some of the paths are unstable too, so please be careful. That's a good one. You can use it. Do you have any new... Uh, Check it in once in a while. What? We gotta explore again to find our next destination. How annoying! Complaining won't solve anything. Come on, let's go! Please wait. Randomly searching for a vague destination would not only be exhausting but a waste of time as well. Let us borrow the Fury's power. A Fury pa Fury's power? Gee! If you stab Fury into the ground, it will pulse like a sauna and measure the exact corner for where you need to go. Pulse like a sonar? Yes, so you so you don't need to worry about getting lost. However, unnecessary pulsing may cause unexpected side effects. Like what? Uh um You know when it happens. She doesn't know, does she? You haven't tested it with Huey? Or are you just making things up again? Well, you can't use a beauty bond you bond with in the so this for this either. Though I must admit that I'm not really sure why that is. Also, please know that there is a limited range when measuring coordinates, so try to be careful about that. In any case, will you simply need to impale the fury into the ground for once, once more? Something fishy. This Tiana girl knows too much. If she if she researched this, how come more people don't know about it? Pang, what do you what do you think? <laughs> Pang and Q we are asleep! <laughs> hey, don't fall asleep! Whoa! Yay! What the hell? <laughs> oh, Stabbing sword? The sword is being stabbed, is it? Yes, looks like that's what you need to do to get to the next destination. Stab a sword into the ground with the stimulate the earth. <clears throat> I will now explain the world shaping to you. Dungeon you have been Dungeon. Dungeon, that's what I said. You haven't visited yet will appear as question mark. Before you can explore them, you need to open them with world shaping first. Press X to view every fury you've obtained. Furies with abilities received through Guardian the Bible as I are ideal, as those abilities are integral to world shaping. After selecting a fury, choose where to stab it. The circle represents the effect range. Highlight a location mark. Question mark. 
and press A once you decide to, on the spot. The fear will stop into the ground, and the question mark will turn into a dungeon icon. This will let you access the dungeon. A fury range will expand as fairy levels up. Pull out the fury, you can still enter open the dungeons, but leave it on the ground and affect the dungeon will gain additional effect. I display on the lower left. Hey Blade, what about those things? What those things? Those DLC dungeons. You think you can take care of that? Oh, you can't yet. Look at the level. Oh my god. Oh wait, look! I'm, I'm just gonna stab the sword first. Oh my god. How do you do that? I got a bad feeling this thing might disappear if I stab the sword. Yeah. So I'll take uh... Oh, look for Lola. Look for a little girl, yeah. But I got no money. Look at my money. Hmm. Try to save first. Welcome back, guys. I got some special fuel you input today. Wanna buy it? Oh, good. Oh, it only costs 250. Thank you for your patience. Apparently, a monster deep in the soul plate has it. Be careful. Monster in the soul plate? Have you been there before? I did. Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. I know I've been there. I know from the very start. I mean, it's right there. Lady, it's right there. Should I take the event first? Mm, if you want. I'll take the event first. Alright, alright. Right. Whoa! Listen, it's not called Yat Yatagan Lava Flow for nothing. It's hot here. It appears that this is the Yatagan Lava Flows. Oh my. Is something the matter? You seem to be in a dour mood, Aaron. It's nothing. Now go, Fing. Slay every monster in this cave for my sake. Why are you bossing me around all high and mighty? Who do you think you are, you nasty shrew? Oh, yes! Yes, that's it! No one has ever called me that before. You certainly are an interesting one, Fang. Yeah, whatever. Let's go, Aaron. No need to tell me that. I know. Nasty Shrew, she likes being called because she's a massacre anyway. She likes it, that's one thing for sure. Now, where is this monster? Hmm. I guess you'll see it when I guess you'll see it when it looks a little different. Yes. You know all the monsters what it look like in this area, right? Yeah, I already memorized it. <laughs> oh, <I> got caught. <laughs> I tried to run. <laughs> Pain don't hurt. My turn. Let's do this. Oh, get reach. Fine. Executing. Burn. Next. Yeah, it burns. Not the Chris. That was funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I tried to run the fast I can, but the end got caught. It ain't gonna happen again! Oh, no it didn't. What's this monster anyway? Birds are singing. Is that it? There's an event. Prepare yourself! Yep, I guess that's it. My turn. It's called... What's it called? Let's do what? This. NCD Elegas? Yara, how can you miss? It's so class. big! Yeah. Yeah. This. Whoa! My turn! It's not gonna be easy. Yeah, <laughs> 
Let's do this. Care to see my true power? Executing shooting slash. Here I come. Let's go, Aaron. Hey, target me. Don't target the girl. My turn. Just do like girls, huh? Take my time. Over time, real precise. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna continue this next part. That's all for today. So there was a lot of cutscene that take all the time and one battle from a strong enemy. Yeah, strong enemy, alright. Can't damage you, but it has a high health. Yep. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoy. So please put a subscribe and a like. And that's all for today. So we'll go to this next part. So it's Shadowblade and Dragon Frank gonna continue this in the next part. Bye! See ya! <laughs>